Hi, welcome everybody to this video about my opinion, what I thought about the series on Netflix, My Unorthodox Life. So, before I get started, I wanted to say a few things. First of all, I wanted to say that everything that I'm going to say in this video uh, is really um, not said in order to make anybody feel bad, or I'm not saying about anything specific too much. I just really felt after watching the series that I felt like I have to talk and I have to share. And I have to just say what I'm feeling. Like, I was just like, the whole time I was watching, I was just like, oh my God, I just have to tell. I just have to talk. I just have to talk about this. So, so I'm just going to open the camera and I am going to talk and I'm going to speak. And it's not going to be so organized. It's just going to be things that I thought and just want to share. That's the first thing I wanted to say. The second thing I wanted to say is that I saw that there are already a few reviews about the series. I didn't watch any of them because I just didn't want to get mixed up with what I think, what other think people think. So everything I'm going to say today is just really, you know, not even knowing what's going on outside and what's happening. Let's get into First it. First of all, I would like to say that I loved the show. I loved it. It was so much fun watching it. I just waited to finish it. I just wanted to see the next, you know, what's the next chapter, what's going to happen next. So obviously the show is made beautifully and fun and Kardashian-like. It's just fun. That's why so many people are watching it. It's such an interesting kind of story, you know, like out of the Hasidic world into the real world, you know, like this big kind of thing that just makes it so interesting and you want to see more and more and more and you're interested in seeing what happened in the Hasidic world and what's it like then and what's it like now. So obviously I enjoy the show. I cannot say for one minute that I didn't. That is not what I'm going to talk about today. So the first thing I want to talk about is the communities, Jewish communities. Obviously, Julia Hart came and was raised in a probably very, very extreme kind of Jewish community. That definitely happens in Judaism, just like it happens in other cultures. It's not that only in the Jewish world there are these very, very, very close communities. I mean, you can be in so many other kind of, you can be any kind of person and still be raised in that kind of community. I don't live in New York, so I don't know that whole entire thing about Muncie and everything, but I was trying to understand if there really is such a strong kind of community uh, that she talks about in such a, you know, like an aggressive kind of way. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't, maybe it's a little bit extreme, but I just had to like put it out there that it's not as if all Jews are in those kind of communities. It's not as all Jews were born and raised the way that she was born and raised. I mean, in the show, it sounds like all Jews are raised like that. That is the only thing that's going on in the world. And obviously that is not true. And obviously there's so many kinds of different communities. The community that Julia Hart is talking about that happens monthly is probably a very extreme kind of community. That is a community that the Tznias is very, very, very strict. And if you don't, they talk about hell and women don't go out to work. Women only have to stay home. That is a sort, that is a kind of thought that was ended many, many years ago. Change it throughout the years with all the technology and all the Instagram and all the phone and all that, that is a pretty much over that kind of thinking. Those communities are very hard to find today. Today the communities are more open, more connected. Jews know about the outside world. It's not as if, you know, like, oh my God, what's out of the outside world? I'm not saying that there aren't communities that work like that, definitely. But I'm just saying the way that she talks about communities is very, very, very extreme. For instance, I can talk about myself. I see myself as an Orthodox Jew. I take it very seriously. I think Tznias is very important. I think davening is important. I think learning Torah is very important. It's not as if someone's standing there with a the clock and saying, okay, right now you have to go get married. You have to bring children. That is not the way that I was raised. I today am a worker. I went, I studied, I learned. There was a year, a whole year where me and another many girls we decided that we want to learn more Torah, we want to learn the Bible, we want to learn, you know, about Judaism, we want to know about the connection between us and God. So it's not so true, you know, the scene where she goes through all the books and she says, I can't learn that, I can't learn that, I can't learn that. I'm like, oh my God, that is so not connected to the world today. And there's so much respect to the Jewish woman and to, you know, smart woman who want to learn halacha, who want to learn Torah, who want to learn the Bible. I mean, that is like one of the most important things in our communities and our, in our belief in Judaism. So that drove me crazy. I just had to like uh, talk about that. 
Another really funny thing to me, like, I felt like it seems throughout the show that everyone is so, that, you know, that all Jews are rich. I mean, I don't know if it's something that came accord to you guys. I don't know if that's what you thought, but I was just saying, you know, the world that they pick to live is also very extreme. I mean, they are a very, 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 very rich family. Let's not forget that. Most families, just like in any other culture, again, are not so rich. They picked the show about someone who has a very interesting story and also is a very rich family and that's why they could do and afford all these so many great activities and things during the show. So that's also something that you just have to keep in mind. We don't all live that kind of world. I mean, I know that's not what you think, but I was just feeling like, you know, it's part of her extreme. It's part of the extreme of Julia Hart. It's part of the extreme of the family. I mean, come on, that's not how life looks every day. I mean, now you can come and say, obviously the show picked a family that's very, very extreme. It would be boring if it wasn't that kind of family. I know. But with all that, I just felt like I had, that had to be said. You know, in Judaism, we have, you know, like the Orthodox and the Reforms, and, you know, people who are more religious and less religious. That happens. Like, there's a very, 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 you know, like, big kind of spectrum where you could, you know, like, put yourself as a Jew. So also in the show, it's so interesting to me that they keep showing as if there's like, it's black and white. As if, if you're in a very, 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 you know, like extreme kind of community and then you can go out to the real world and see the real world and you know, and you're missing out all these things. Where I live in the place that I come from, there's a beautiful combination between Torah and Avodah. What does that mean? It means between, you know, like the Torah, the Bible, everything that we believe in, and Avodah, that means work. We believe in the combination in between both. I am in my 20s. I know what's New York. I know what's shopping. I know what's being, you know, trying to be a beautiful woman from in and out. So again, the way that they show it is like, come on. Come on, that is not what's going on today. It's not so extreme. It's not black or white. There is so much going on in between that the show doesn't show, that the Julia Hart does not speak about. And that that's those are moments that drove me crazy. Um, it's also very important to know, just because I know about these stories, there are times where the family stops speaking to one of the members who left the community. And there are also times where the family has a hard time, but they still connect and they still continue to talk. So that also is not in every single situation. Um, yeah. I also found it very interesting that they keep showing as if, you know, wearing pants is the most amazing thing and just to wear pants already, just to show how, you know, like more and more and more. I mean, there are scenes there where I was like, I mean, it's okay, you could decide that you're leaving your community, you can decide that you do not want to be religious anymore. But from that to, you know, to wear such exposed clothes and to just talk about pants, 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 pants all day is like, I don't know, again, if I talk about myself, it's true, I was born and raised to think that, you know, sneeze, to think about modesty as something that's important, something that's good. But again, in the same time, to always know that you could put on makeup, you can feel beautiful, you can buy beautiful clothes, you can look pretty. I mean, it's something that comes together. As a Orthodox Jew, I would never, ever, ever have a scene on a TV show, you know, when she, so, when he, when she shows her sister, Hannah, who's so cute and that you see that they have a beautiful relationship, but she shows her in the store and for the first time in her life she's wearing like, you know, something that in my opinion isn't so modest, you know, with the cameras and with... It just shows that a lot of what's going on there is very, very extreme because I can say about myself that years and years and years of wearing, you know, being modest and caring about how you look and making sure that you're dressed a certain way, I would never go on a show for one minute and, you know, wear pants or, you know, expose myself. I choose and I pick every single day, even though it's hard and even though sometimes it's very hot outside, but there's some sacrifices that you make because you believe in what you do. You believe in your religion. You believe in God. You believe it's the right thing to do. And also that part that they bring Sarah, you know, from, uh, I guess, also Muncie, and they bring her for to show her, you know, the real world. And they do that makeover and they put her in pants. And again, something that for us is, is exposed I felt so bad for her. You, you have to understand, imagine that for your whole entire life you live a certain way, you're dressed a certain way, it's not gonna go pack, pack. 
like Julia Hart talks about. It's something that could take years and years and years with yourself and things that you feel and wanting to feel like you want to leave your community. Don't forget that Julia Hart does not talk a lot about those years that happened before. We don't know how she was born. We don't know how she was raised. It's very, again, like, this is what it was. I left my community. I do not believe in my community. It's very tough. It's very strong. We believe in Judaism and in my community that if someone leaves the community or if someone decides that they do not want to be religious anymore or they do not want to, you know, go in a certain way that they were born and raised, it's okay. Today we're in a place that is a lot more open. We're used to having all sorts of, you know, opinions in Judaism. But with that said, if there's a very, very strong community and they believe in modesty and they believe in a certain way, I feel like it's so basic and that kind of thing to respect the community you go back to, to respect the way that people live. I'm talking about specifically about very small communities that have a very certain way of living. I'm not obviously talking about, you know, something more open and then in my opinion there's no problem for someone to come into a different community being dressed as the way that they want to be dressed. And I'm not saying that every single time, you know, they have to they come to Muncie, they have to be dressed up and covered. I'm just saying again from that to wearing a green kind of you know outfit in an extreme way on purpose like gave me a quinch you know like um it upset me it made me feel like why but why it's okay you know this community you know this community has their own things you do not have to respect everything you don't have to believe everything they believe you can even leave this community you chose to leave this community i we're with you julia hart but from that, then to come into the store and I felt like disrespectful or disrespect towards the people felt to me something that we do not believe in. I mean, I'm careful, obviously, but I don't think that's what our agenda is in Judaism. It's respecting the people around you. It's respecting your friend. It's respecting your community. It's respecting, you know, other kind of thoughts. If you go into someone else's hometown, don't you want to feel like you're respecting the other? That's that's where I felt like, uh, you know. I mean, again, like your son so many times is trying to say to you, Ima, I picked something different in life. It's amazing. I'm happy for you. You went out to the real world. My siblings went out to the real world. But there's so many times throughout the show that Aaron is just trying to say, guys, look at me. Respect me. I'm respecting you. Respect my way. And the disrespect um, and our own staying in the Judaism and staying in the Orthodox world hurt me so much. And I don't know, I'm also surrounded by so many uh, families that, you know, the, you know, their children left the Orthodox world. And you just see the parents that even though it's so hard for them, they totally try to, you know, breathe in, breathe out and say, okay, this is my child. I love my child. I will be there for my child, even though it's hard. And even though, you know, I raised them in a different way. So for me to see, again, the extreme of a family that keeps trying to, you know, show your child the real world when your son is telling you, this is what I am choosing, I don't know, broke my heart, made me think that in a few years he's going to be so confused in the whole Judaism world because that is so confusing that you believe in something and no one else is supporting you. I just hope, you know... I won't get into it too much because I don't want to say Lashon I don't want to say, you know, specific bad things. I feel like those were the really most important things that I felt for me that I just felt like I just have to bring it out there and say it. Obviously, I really want to just say that I, I really did not want to hurt anybody's feelings. That is the last thing I wanted to do. I just wanted to explain what I was thinking about and what I felt during the show. Obviously, I would love to hear um, what you guys think, if you guys have any questions. Um, and that's it. So I hope you guys have a good day and goodbye. Thank you for listening to everything I had to say. Bye.